Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. It is Thursday, October the 18th, 2018, and this is the daily report for gold and silver. We do have gold fractionally higher on the day, up about $1.50. However, it is the only one of the precious metals that's actually showing a net gain on the day. This all due to dollar strength. We'll talk about that in a second. Gold currently up $1.50 at 122890 As we said, the rest of the complex has traded lower. A $0.07 cent decline in silver at 1459 Platinum lost 1.2%, currently tracking at $830 per ounce. And approximately a half a percent decline in palladium futures, which are currently at 1062 Now, as we said, it's really been all about dollar strength. We can see that over the last three trading days, we have had an increase in terms of pricing of the dollar index from these lows found on Tuesday to the closing price today of 1.2%, a pretty dramatic rise in the last three days. Now, we have seen tremendous pressure in U.S. equities with the Dow Jones Industrial Average plunging over 300 points today, 327 points to be exact, currently fixed at 25,379. Standard & Poor's losing about 8% and a half also, currently at 2768. And then lastly, the NASDAQ Composite losing over 2% on the day, currently trading at 74.85. Traders, as we said at the beginning of the show, it has really been dollar strength that has been curtailing any kind of real upside move or robust rally in precious metals pricing, specifically gold. If we look at the last three days in trading, we can see something interesting. The first thing that we see is that three days ago, we took out the 100-day moving average. Of course, the, the uh, 200-day moving average is well below current pricing. And then yesterday, prices exceeded the 50-day moving average, which means that the dollar on a technical basis has moved definitely back into a bullish trend after selling off from about mid-August to about the end of September. Now, that being said, our current level of resistance on a technical basis has to be based upon this top that came in back in August when the market was trading just shy of 97. Now, we're currently trading at 95.73, so we really have some upward possible momentum in the dollar before it hits any kind of technical resistance. At the same time, it must be noted, we are looking at a market that is moving moving on fundamentals and it is that flight to quality to safe haven assets such as the dollar and gold that have really been active as we have a equities markets under pressure and some major geopolitical concerns in Saudi Arabia, in Turkey, and in Italy right now. So those things collectively have been highly supportive of both gold as well as the U.S. dollar. However, because gold is paired or traded fixed in U.S. dollars, it is fighting an uphill battle as we see pretty solid gains on a daily basis when we look at normal trading alone and do not add dollar strength or weakness into the equation. However, the reality is gold has been, in terms of price structure, fairly stable. It's actually given up a little bit from the highs that were achieved here on Monday when the market traded at about $1,230, $29 per ounce. Currently, we're at $1,228.90, and we are trading well above what I am currently labeling as some major support that comes in due to the 0.618% retracement, and that occurs at around $1,217, $1,218, somewhere in that area. I believe that all things being equal, we should see gold form a base in this area, and aside from dollar strength, we could see a dynamic rally. However, at the same time, I believe that that rally is going to be greatly muted because the same forces are at play in terms of dollar strength as well as gold strength. It's that safe haven intrinsic aspect of both of those asset classes. Therefore, I do believe we're going to see gold rise, but I think that we'll see it its rise being limited based upon the outside influence of dollar strength. Nonetheless, 
we've got to go above a current resistance level, which I said resides at about $1,231.40. That, of course, is this 100-day moving average. We are still well above the 50-day and well below the 200-day moving average. Therefore, traders, maintain your current long position in gold and maintain your current stop. As I said, we are looking to tighten that stop up and the area that I will be tightening it to will be just below this particular level of support at $1,218 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye-bye.